So all the nominees have been announced. Yeah. Who do you think is going to make waves this year round? Um, well, I think Dunkirk is probably the front runner. It seems to be the most Golden Globey of nominees because the Golden Globes, they like, you know, these major, huge event films. They don't really go for smaller indie fare. You can see from the nominees as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Dunkirk is going to be um, up there. The Post, uh, the Spielberg film, it's very, and the Post is very zeitgeisty at the moment, you know. So that that might very well take the um, the the big award, but you know, it, it it it's kind of weird to call the Golden Globes the the, or the you know uh, best picture at mm -hmm. Golden Globes the the big award because it's just the Globes, you know. It's just the Globes. So what does this year's selection tell us about the mood in Hollywood? Um, it doesn't tell, tell us much, to be perfectly honest, because, um, you see, this is, it, it's very interesting when it comes to the Globes and um, whether the Globes actually foretell the fate of, of, the, um, of these films or, or other films for, for the rest of the uh, awards season. Because the Golden Globes are decided by 95 foreign journalists who are in Los Angeles, and there is absolutely no overlap between the people who decide the Golden Globes and people who decide the Oscars. Actually, I tell a lie, there's only one person who's like 95 who was an actor at once and then turned mm -hmm. journalist. So there's one person, there's one person who's, who's an overlap between the people who decide the Oscars and the people who decide the Globes. Um, statistically, if you look back, there has been some sort of parallels between the two. Mm -hmm. But if you look back in the past 10 to 15 years, you know, it's, there, there, is, uh, there isn't as much overlap as there used to be in the past. Well, do you think that the Golden Globes is less politically charged than, say, the Oscars? Of course, yes, definitely. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely say that because, um, you see, the, the Globes, they're given, obviously, much earlier in the season, in the middle of the season, rather. Um, also, because of who is giving out these awards. awards. And also, um, I mean, not a lot of people really take it that seriously, either in the industry, so people who are actually working there, or the people who are covering the awards. Um, there's something... There's something... Uh, jejun, there's something... Euro trashy about the Golden Globes. There's, um, but that gaudiness is the appeal of the Globes, you see. People always criticize awards events like these for saying that it's not as diverse as they should be. What yeah. do you think about this edition? Well, I mean, they did shut out uh, Greta Gerwig, who is the uh, first time director, but mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently did a magnificent job in Lady Bird, so I can't comment. But, and um, a whole bunch of other women nominees, women directors who are making waves in Hollywood didn't get, um, didn't get a nod. Uh, Patty Jenkins, I mean, that was, uh, Wonder Woman was always a long shot. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, riding on this wave of feminism right now, it could have kind of slipped in, but didn't. So there's that, you know, no women. Well, Ali, the Golden Globes are going to take place on January 7th, and we're just going to have to wait and see who's going to take the big prizes home. Thank you so much for joining us on our show today. Thanks for having me again.